it's very, very important when it comes to purchasing chocker that you get the freshest bait possible. As everybody knows, fresh bait is the secret to fishing. That's why Kingfisher put so much effort into getting the freshest bait possible. I've got, for this bait demonstration, I've got two chocker that I'm going to be using. A small little one and a very big one. This is for cob fishing purposes only. Okay? And I'll go through it step by step as I'm doing it. What I'm going to do first of all is the little mouse bait on a dangle. For that one, I'm going to use the small chocker first. That's the top of the chocker running down. You've got that hard sheath in it. So basically, I'm going to just take the knife and run straight down the back of it. There is the sheath I'm just taking out of it. I don't want to use that. Take the head. Pull the head. Just going to put that down for a second. Turn it over and we take the wings off of the chocker. So I'm looking for a white bait. And that is very, very important that I get a very white bait, clean bait. Okay. Okay, that's basically preparing the first chocker for the mouse bait. This here is the head part of the chocker. I'm just going to take the ink sac out and put that down. Underneath is a long part which is the blower where the ink actually comes out of. That part, if you grab it like this and you pull it, Gives you a nice little tentacle, as you can see over there. There's two gorgeous little tentacles already done, already cut, all ready for you. Use that. I'm going to get my chocker hammer and lightly tap that. Just to soften it up a bit, I'm going to take my chocker. And I'm going to take a piece mm, not bigger than that. Chocker hammer, turn it over so that the flesh side is underneath, skin side on top. And I'm going to hit it until it is, until it's absolutely almost like snot if you want to call it that. It is soft, soft, soft. That's where all the smell is going to come from. As you can see, that is paper, paper thin. Step one, take my dangle. Put it from the top, obviously the loop side facing forward. Wrap it around nicely with my thin cotton my thin latex cotton and actually attach it nicely to it so a lot of cotton on there this is now the base that I'm going to be using on the whole thing next that piece that I hit I'm going to turn over and I'm literally wrapping it around the chocker. So here we go. Okay, basically we just carry on tying the cotton around loosely to form the shape that we're looking for. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stomach of the chocker. That is the stomach part of the chocker. What I'm looking for is the eyes. I'm making eyes now out of the chocker stomach. Cutting away the ink sac to find those two little red things over here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut through the center of them. 
away from the ink sack. Just to take them away. There we go, there's one done. Second one done. Keep the ink sack for another bait. Okay. Now what we do, just take that, put it in the center of our chocker, basically lightly wrap some cotton around it, turn it around, take the other red eye, like so, wrap that gently around it. And what we're basically making is two R's on the chucker. Finish it off, half edge, another half edge on it. Pull those tight. Like that. Cut any excess chucker that might sit around our solid ring like that because we don't want it to inhibit the um, ring from coming off of our sinker. Take our circle hook put that through the back over there like that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap two or three wraps of cotton around it to stop the actual dingle from coming off of our circle hook. Uh, sorry guys, just get this right. And basically one, two, over, under, over, under, back around and break it off. And that basically will keep our chocker, our dangle in place. Now what happens is, let's grab a sinker, we hook that on, when we throw this through the air, those two tentacles are in line with our tray, so you can throw it a lot further than what you would if the tentacles were wrapped the other way around. If you threw it with the tentacles facing that way, forward obviously from there if you can just imagine, that creates a lot more wind resistance. This way creates a lot less. It's more aerodynamic and it'll go through the air a lot better. When it hits the water, this will come off. That will float up like that with the tentacles and as you're jerking it, the tentacles will start moving around in the water. You've now got eyes on it, you've got your long tentacles and that's basically what it looks like at the end of the day in the water. It looks like a little squid swimming around or a little baby fish. Thank you.